How's it going everyone? Homeless Grandma here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. We are back in our tutorial world today guys and we are going to be giving another tutorial on this ice cream truck. So we built the hot dog van over there so it's only fair that we build an ice cream truck as well. I want you to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications to not miss out on any more. And go check out any of these other tutorials in the world. There are plenty of them in on YouTube as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look, Skidoodles. Uh, so we're going to need all of this material. Uh, the uh, armor and the person is optional, but I like to add that as a person uh, working inside the ice cream truck. So you're going to need all of this. Feel free to take a screenshot if you would like to see what you need in the build. Now I'm going to be building this in creative, but in survival you will obviously need more versions of these blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our black wool or black concrete or black or anything that's a black block uh, we're going to put two down with one gap and then we're going to put a stone button on either side we're going to grab our quartz uh, block quartz slab we're going to put one in the middle and then a row out the front we're then going to do um, four in the middle so one two three four and on the fourth one we're going to do a one on either side then going to take your black again and do two on either side, followed by your buttons. This makes the rear wheels. And then you're going to continue the quartz lab, another two, one, two. And then you're going to do um, three across the back, one, two, three, and then one final one. So you look something like this, and this is what it looks like from above, if anyone's trying to count. Do a freeze frame and have a look real quick. So that's the first layer. Then you're going to take your white wool. You're going to do one on either side here and a double smooth stone slab in the middle. You could also use um, a furnace for this, like a blast furnace, um, because uh, quite it looks like an engine. Um, and, that, and it really just depends on what you want to do for that. So then on the front, you want to put a button on either side and a, um, and a ladder in the middle. Um, I also like to use um, item frames um, like we did over here and you can put um, like lights in them so this has got blocks in them to so make them look like they're lights so you could do that as well it doesn't it's totally up to you so we're going to get quartz stairs and do them upside down on every single wheel but it's easy just to do them from those two because they're connected we're then going to take four wool and go one two three three, four, and then again on the other side, one, two, three, four. You're going to go two upside down stairs again, one, two, same on the other side, one, two, and then you're going to do three, uh, you're going to do one wall on either side, one, one, and one wall back, one wall back, and an iron door in the middle, like so. You're then going to take buttons and put them on the back for rear lights. Again, you could use um, the item frames with red blocks to make it look like tail lights. And I'll show you that what that looks like now. Uh, item frame here. Let's do um, redstone, because redstone gives off a, a signal, basically. Um, okay, so you, you could do like this also make it look like it's got tail lights so that's the next layer there same on both sides so then you're going to go get your black stained glass panes and you want to put one uh, out one on the stair and then one two three from that so in total it's going to be five and you're going to have one overhang on either side you could also um, just have the three in the middle if you'd like. Again, it's totally up to you. So then you take your two your white wool, you go one, two, one, two on either side. Now on the back side, whichever side is not going to have the opening for your ice cream truck, you wanna do a complete row of wool. So you wanna do it all the way down. And on this side, you only want, you wanna leave a gap, four gaps, so one, two, three, four, and then two wool, one, two. So then you're looking like this. 
You want to get your quartz slabs and you want to place them on top of your panes, but not the ones that are overhanging the vehicle. So one, two, three, and then another three behind that. One, two, three, and then three quartz stairs, but upwards. One, two, three, like so. You're then going to take a cobweb, put that next to the quartz stair, and then do three quartz slabs. One, two, three, and uh, four quartz slabs, and then another four at the front. One, two, three, four. At the back, you're going to put another cobweb, followed by wool, wool. And you're going to fill this whole section in now. So you would be, this whole side wall will be wool, the back door, wool, and then in the middle, you're going to just fill that with wool. So you look like this. So three, two, two, three quartz slabs, three quartz slabs, three quartz stairs, and then you're going to do white wool, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way back by all three of them. Then you're going to do four and four quartz slabs, a cobweb and a cobweb on either side. So that's basically finished the truck version, the truck now. Um, so before I build the ice cream, I'm going to just get in here for real, real quick. I'm going to put down an armor stand. I'm going to put down a, um, no, I don't want to wear it. I'm going to put down a pants and a shirt. And then I'm going to put down a player head also. Because then it looks like there's someone working in the truck. So, so for the back, for the ice cream, you're going to put down... Um, one, so not on the back one, but on the next one, you're going to put down one stair facing uh, upwards, one block, and one upside down stair. You're going to then put one stair, continue on. You're going to make your ice cream. So then you're going to do one white, one pink, and then reverse the colors on the top. So do one white and one pink. And there you go. That is your ice cream truck. Now, you could also um, get some paintings because paintings um, actually look like um, menu items or something. So you could probably, um, if you go inside the truck, you could put paintings in there. So it makes it look like they've got menus. Um, you could do like along the back here, you could do big painting to try and make it look like it's an actual, like a selling ice cream or something. So that's basically their idea. Um, you just want to make it like, you just put features, customize your own features to make it look uh, cool to, to do your own thing. You could even take a uh, white carpet and place it on the top here of your um, furnace so that uh, they're all matching and it's all white. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter how you customize it, but it might, like either way and whatever you do makes it look uh, a lot cooler. So um, feel free to customize this and make your own versions of it. It looks really cool. I think I think it goes nicely um, in in a world if you want to be building an ice cream van down by the beach or a pier or something. Uh, it looks really really cool. So, anyways, guys, that's going to be it. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and hope it was easy enough for you to follow along. It's not that hard. Very simple. Um, relatively easy to to build. So, and if you do like, please hit this like button on the video, and I uh, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time for another Minecraft video. Thanks for watching, say hi to mum for me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!